Good morning, YouTube. It is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yay, we made it. Please hit that like button and go ahead. Don't be shy. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am so proud of my NACA video. I hope and I pray that it really helps someone buy some property, a house, a townhouse, or a condo, whatever your pleasure is. I try to lay out the benefits of that program, the low interest rate, and just how um, once you go through the program, they get you ready and, you you know, once you find your home, then your application will go straight to Bank of America and, you know, get get you approved. So I won't even start talking about that because I'm excited about that. But I, today I want to talk about I always expect the best. This is out of my daily word. That's my title. But here's what the daily word had to say. Expectation. I move through my day with positive expectations. I believe in God as the one presence and power that is absolute goodness. I focus my expectations on the highest and best outcome for me and everyone in my life. Sometimes, however, doubts creep in. I still believe in the goodness of God, but that goodness is not always apparent when I consider the circumstances of my life. I might be, I may be struggling with a health or prosperity challenge, or I may feel sad or lost, not knowing which way to turn. When I discover I no longer expect the best, I turn within and commune with the spirit of God within me. I pray, welcoming my guidance and affirming my spiritual gifts of imagination, will, and strength. I am grateful to feel my positive expectation, return and focus my attention on my life and all the blessings to come. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke 12 and 32. Okay. And I'm telling you, this is why you really should not have all of these alerts coming to your phone. I'm sitting here reading the Bible verse and these uh, negative alerts. I got to figure out. I just got this phone um, a month ago and I need to figure out how to get rid of these alerts because they're really distracting me. But expectation. Wow. What do you expect? And we have to be honest with ourselves. When something negative happens, you might be, you know, really positive or thinking on an upward trend but when something negative happens it's true the human mind can drift to the dark side oh i knew that was gonna happen oh i know i see i knew i wasn't gonna get that job oh man my business deal fell apart i knew it i'm you know it's not no you know it's not no good men out here you know all these ladies they all on the same thing like think about what you're saying think about what you're thinking about, and the power of the tongue. We have to keep our mind on the best. Even when it don't look good, even when you don't see no sign of it, even when your back is up against the wall, even when they write you off, even when people are, you know, sometimes you, you will say something. And if you all are like me, I have a good intuition. I don't say a lot of stuff that I know. So people don't know this about me because I, I try to come off goofy. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, I'm more. Anyway, I don't need to explain what I am. But people don't know that I pick up on energy. Like if you if I tell you something, I could tell your response towards me. What you thinking? You know, sometimes I'm sure you all could pick up on that, too. On other people. It's not just me. And people laugh at you. They think you're nuts. They think you're flighty. They write you off. That don't make no sense. If I was her, you're not me. But that's your stuff and keep expecting the best. If you don't expect the best, why do something? 
Everybody knows the outcome for your life. People, you could talk to them, they could tell you how it's going to go and what you need to do. But however, if they were in your shoes, they wouldn't even know how to maneuver through some of that stuff. So that's why don't listen to people. Listen to God and talk to God. And when you have a request, when you have a desire, you take it to him. And even when you don't see no sign of it, you keep on asking for it and keep on expecting the best. And when you say, I expect the best, that knocks out the worst. That knocks out toxic stuff. That knocks out somebody that's around you that don't mean you no good. My late friend, Miss Gladys, who I got through Miss Laura, she gave me a list of prayers that I pray. And in the prayer, one of them is like, Lord, remove people from me who, you know, don't want, don't want, don't mean me any good. So I expect the best means the worst has to be removed. The worst has no room in the life of Tammy Walker. The worst has no room in the life of you. So when you have a problem, don't go to the problem. You go straight to the solution because you expect the best. I always say I expect the best in my doctor. I expect the best dentist. I expect to live in the best place. I expect the best out of my vehicle I drive. I expect the best out of my health. I expect the best out of my friends and family. I want the best for them as well. Expect the best. If you're going to dream, dream big. If you're going to think, think positive. Think positive. Uh, I just saw a little, little video with Steve Harvey, and he was like, if someone says, I'm not going to lose weight, he said, you're right. I'm, I'm never going to be rich. You're right. I heard, I remember two ladies said, I'm probably never going to get married. Now, one lady, these are two people I know. One lady did get married, but she married a horrible guy. Just cheater. She did get married, but is that worth having? No. A second lady never got married. Beautiful lady. I'm probably I'm probably never going to get married. Don't speak those words. No, 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 no. I just believe, uh, you know, like even being sick, like how I was and many others. I just believe if I had to say it, I probably not going to make it. Maybe I wouldn't have, you know, have or whatever. It's what you believe you will receive. Yes, there are people that lose the battle to cancer and other illnesses. And that's where I don't know the answer. You know, only God knows. We don't know why someone's life has to end. Some stuff is above us. We can't even fathom why these things are happening. But if you believe in healing, why not believe that you might be the one that God will heal? You might be the one where your business will be successful. You might be the one that will end up with the beautiful woman, the beautiful man. You might be the one with the successful career. You may be the one whose book takes off. You might be the one whose restaurant blows up. You might be the one whose hair salon takes off and is very successful. You might be the one who go far in your education and get your doctorate. You may be the one who dropped 40 pounds. You might be the one. So if you're going to dream, dream big and always expect the best regardless of what you are seeing with the naked eye the mind is deceiving the eyes are deceiving and they'll have you going down a dark path thinking you will not be successful because of what you're looking at now but today just started and tomorrow is not even here yet and yesterday is gone today is a gift that's why they call it the present. It is a present. It's a gift to be alive. It's an honor. It's a blessing. It really is. And this is one reason why I try not to be down every day. You know, just depressed. And I feel like it's a slap in the face to God. This is what I tell myself. This is not going out to people that deal with severe mental illness. I always put that disclaimer out there because I'm not insensitive. And I know there are some people they cannot help how they feel but if you can control your depression the more situational depression people you're depressed because something didn't go your way that's I'm, I'm talking about those people 
I try not to do that because I don't want to disappoint God. Like, for example, Mother's Day, you know, it might not be my favorite day, but I try not to be down and out overall on that day because I feel like it's a wasted day. Yeah, I honor my mother. I love her. I miss her. And that day can be a little tough, but I try to move through it in a way that I'm still, you know, having an okay day. You know, I just don't want to be depressed. I've been there before and it's it's a bad feeling. And I just try to seize the moment. Enjoy each day. Each day is a gift. It's a blessing. Even the stressful days, because Lord knows I've had them this week. <laughs> it's been a little stressful. Okay. I hope something I said resonates with you. And I hope you have a most lovely Friday. Enjoy your day. Do something sweet for yourself. Buy yourself some flowers. Get a pedicure, manicure. Download a new song. Download an old song that you used to really love. Um, Start a YouTube channel. Do like me. Go take a yoga class. Do something. Go get yourself a nice meal. Have a meal with a friend. Do whatever you like. Tammy Sharice Walker. Love you all so much. God bless you all. Expect the best. You shall receive. Bye-bye.